All right, in this video, I'm gonna walk through my November online photo sales. Now, November was a really, really good month for me. It was actually my best month of 2020. Not only was it my best month, but it actually doubles my second best month. I made more in my online sales in November than I did in August, September, and October combined. So it was a really good month for me. I'm pretty excited, pretty happy, but I got a lot of great things to talk about. So we'll just get into it now. Now, one of the reasons why I had such a great month was I got a lot of sales from my own website. So I have my own domain, souvenirpixels.com, and I've got a website that's hosted on SmugMug, and I sell my photos on there, and people can download them for stock, or they can also download them for prints. Now, there's one company that found my website, and they were making a calendar for their customers. So they want to send out this calendar for their customers um, for 2021, and they ended up buying seven of my photos. Now, I sell my photos for about $20 nine dollars smug bug takes a small cut so it ends up being a fairly large amount it ends up being my biggest site of the month now I don't get sales on smug mug every month but I get more than a lot of other sites um, However, the good thing about SmugMug is that they take a very small percentage. So the downside is you need to market your own stuff. So this person probably found me through my social media. So I have to do my own marketing for it. But when you get downloads, you get to keep the majority of it and you get to set your own price. So this worked out very well for me, $180 in just November. Really happy with that and it was my best site of the month. Now, not only did I have a great month on SmugMug, I also had a great month on Fine Art America. This was my highest Fine Art America sales for any month of the year, and I made $170 on just three sales. Now, one of the things with Fine Art America I find is I do get more sales this time of year. You know, being November, people are buying Christmas gifts. So I find that November is typically a good month um, for Fine Art America, but making $170 in one month off of my old photos is still pretty good. Um, that actually only came from three different sales. All of them for, were photos that I uploaded there over three years ago from vacations I'd had in the past. Um, and this photo in particular, I'll put it up here, um, it sold twice. So two of those three sales for this one photo. And this photo is interesting. I actually really like this photo. When I took it and edited it, I really liked it, but it makes very few sales on the stock sites. Um, and this is the first time it's ever sold on Fine Art America as well. But it sold twice in the same month, the first and second time. Now, I actually see this a lot. I think what happens with Fine Art America is that when you get a sale, one sale, they'll bump you up in the search results for a certain period of time. So often what you see is you get a first sale of a photo and then shortly after you'll get the second sale of that photo. I think that's what happened again in November. So the first person was probably looking for something very specific, um, you know, that photo in Bunch Montreal, you know, maybe they had a good time traveling there and they wanted to find a photo of it. And then, so that's got the first sale, but then the second sale probably came from, you know, bumping up the search results because of the first sale. Anyways, really happy about it. $170 um, from three sales on Fine Art America. All right, now next on the list is Shutterstock. Now, not only was did I have my best month for SmugMug sales, my best month for Fine Art America sales, I also had my best month for Shutterstock sales. So recently I've been averaging like 30 or $40 maybe on Shutterstock a month. And in November, I got like what? $85, <laughs> look it up there. Um, so I got $85 and the majority of that though actually came from three sales. So on Shutterstock, what you get is you get a certain percentage of the sales. So if people purchase extended licenses, those cost a lot more and then you get a much bigger percentage. And because of that, I'm just gonna look at the exact numbers here because I wrote them out. Um, I got three larger sales. So I got one sale for $29, one sale for $26, and one sale for $11. So out of the $85 that I got from Shutterstock, um, 65 of those dollars came from like three different sales. All right. So that's why I made so much. I got some big sales. I don't get big sales like that every month. And it just so happened that three of them came through in November. All right. Now I know this is going to come up in the comments. Um, people are going to say, well, I thought Shutterstock only gave 10 cents. Shutterstock does not give 10 cents per download. Shutterstock gives a minimum of 10 cents per download. Okay, so I had a large number of 10 cent downloads that added up to, you know, 10, 20 cent downloads that add up to like $20. But then I also had those other three big sales that had $65, which is how I get my $85 on Shutterstock. 
right? So again, still not as good as what I was getting Shutterstock three, four years ago, but it is has been my best Shutterstock month of the year, and it coincided with a lot of other best sites of the year, so it really kind of added up for November. All right, so those are three great sites. Then I have all my other sites here. Now, deposit photos, you know, was slightly better than I think average, but I typically make around twenty dollars there, so twenty-five isn't that big of a deal. Um, next are the two free sites, the Pixabay and Pexels. Um, so those are donations from those sites. Um, so when I have like RPD up here, that's revenue per download or revenue per purchase for Fine Art America, but in these sites, this is revenue per donation. So I received a number of donations and um, it added up the two sites. I got $50 in donations, which is also quite good. All right, now next was Adobe Stock. Um, Adobe Stock was pretty much average. That's about what I've been making recently. Um, after that is Pickfair. Now Pickfair is a site, I don't up there very regularly anymore because I don't make a lot of sales. That's only my second sale of the year. So, um, you know, it's nice that it came in, but it was only $8. So I don't upload there regularly, but it is nice to get that second sale. And then the rest of the sites were pretty much average, just the low sites. Now, but that ended up being $550 for the month of November. And as I mentioned at the start, that was my best sales month of the year. It was by far my best sales month of the year. Probably, you know, after that, I think my biggest month was like $250. So if you've been watching this channel for a while, you know that, you know, a lot of the photography I do, I do it on vacation. And so it's vacation photography. So when COVID hit and traveling stopped, it hasn't been great for my stock sales. And my year this year, although I haven't tallied everything up, I'll probably have a lower year in 2020 than I did in 2019. So it's really nice that I did get this kind of larger month at the end of the year. Another reason it's nice is I wanted to buy some gear. Uh, my last trip out um, doing some photography, I noticed that my one tripod was pretty, it was starting to shake and I figured out that I couldn't really fix it very easily. Um, I have another tripod that I use sometimes and one of the legs got stuck and I also couldn't fix that easily. So I've got like these two five-year-old tripods that both have kind of gone south over the past year. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this $550 to get myself a Christmas present. And I actually already got it in the mail. It's right here. I picked up the uh, Peak Design tripod. Um, probably one of the more expensive options that you can get for a travel tripod. But, you know, I somewhat rationalize it by the fact that, you know, I just made $550 on my sales. And hopefully this tripod's gonna, you know, get me out taking more photos in 2021. And, you know, which will turn into additional sales. So it's kind of like an investment, but it's more just, you know, for me. <laughs> investing in my photography because I wanted to get a new tripod and this one seemed pretty good from all the reviews online. Anyways, um, that's my photo report for this month. Uh, next month, what I'll probably do in January is I'll do a year in review. So I'll go over all of my sales from 2020, look at all the different sites, see how they compared to the year before so we can kind of see which sites are getting better and which sites are maybe going down. Um, hopefully it'll help you, give you some ideas about where you should be focusing your you know, upload efforts in 2021. Anyways, hopefully you found this useful and best of luck selling your photos online.